Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to solve a college level problem. It's the question number 13 on lead code and it's called a Roman to integer. As you might be aware, Roman numerals are represented by seven values and we can see in the description that we are given with these symbols and their mapping values. I have just used the word mapping and that's the main clue for my approach to this problem. Let's move to the description now. Alright, so Roman, Roman to integer. Roman numerals are represented by seven different symbols. As we can see, the description is so long, so I'm going to summarize it for you. Roman numerals are written from left to right, from higher value to the smallest value. What does that mean? We can see here in that example. So if we want to convert, let's say, the number 110 to Roman numerals, we first thing need to write the 100 symbol, which is the symbol C, and the 10 symbol, which is X, after that. So the result will be SX. I think the order is so, is so straightforward, however, there is an exemption. There is always an exemption in maths, guys. A smaller value can go before the larger one, and that illustrates subtraction. For example, the symbol I can go before V, or x in order to subtract the value the value of my of one by either v or x for example the symbol ix stands for the number 9 because minus 1 plus 10 equals 9 sweet if you are confused at this point don't worry i'm going to explain everything in more detail let's move on to the board now guys All right, so I can show you a hash map solution. Let's take the Roman symbol, let's take the Roman symbol X, C, V. All right, that's the integer 95. And the question is, how can we convert this Roman uh, numeral to this integer. And guys, the solution is so simple. We are going to loop over this string and read character by character. And we need to see if the current character, so I'm going to put a pointer current here and a, following, a pointer following here. And as we loop over the string, we need to check uh, whether the current character is followed by a larger character. In our case, x is 10 and c is 100. So x is less than c. And that shows that we need to subtract the first character from the second character. Because normally it's going to be from the largest to the smallest, and we will need to add them up. If we move our pointers one position to the right, so now, guys, I've got the pointer C points to the, the numeral C, and the pointer following points to the numeral V. X, sorry, C, uh, so now C is greater than V, so we just need to add a V to our current sum. Finally, if we just need to add the last number to our sum, uh, we always um, we need to add it, not subtract it, because there is the pointer F following will point to a void element. Cool, I think guys that's Mickey Mouse stuff, the explanation is so straightforward, so let's bring up the LitCop website. I'm going to expand that for you. Just ignore the uh, description for the moment. So now I'm starting with the initialization of our hash map. And that's going to be like something like const hash map is equal to, I'm going to use an object. I was thinking to use the new map constructor, but I think it's more straightforward for everyone for the, with the object. So I, one uh, 
and let, let me bring up the symbols here I didn't do Latin guys back in school so V 5 X 10 L 50 C 100 D 500 and M is a thousand cool now I'm going to create the two pointers that I mentioned before the current pointer and the following pointer and because this will change its value as we loop over this thing we need to initialize to use the let uh, variable so let that is going to be current and that it's going to point to the first element of the string and we have following oops, sorry the second position of the string and I'm going also to create a sum variable here that we are going to use as our uh, accumulate sum and uh, first things first so now we need to create the classic while loop uh, in order to loop over the string and for that condition what I'm going to do is I'm going to say current is less than s dot length in order to be sure that we are within the correct boundaries and here there are two situations the first situation is if our element is less so if our current element is less than the following element and in order to get the integer value of that we need to call the hash map of the current is less than the hash map of the following then what we need to do is to subtract the current from our sum otherwise we just add them up these things shouldn't be here I don't know what happened apologies for that and yeah at the end of the loop what we need to do is just in increase both the values, both for current and the following pointer and outside of the loop what I'm going to do is return the sum sweet, let's run the code now super, let's submit it All right, accepted. That's all for the day, guys. If you liked this video, give that a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it. It's free. Cheers. See you. Catch you in the next one. Bye.